So now what we'll do is we'll try to understand uh, what are the different types of subject available and let's do a little deep dive a little more in subject and try to understand how we can leverage uh, uh, the subject also. Okay. So, so instead of observable and subject, it's now just subject. So as I said last time that subject has three methods in it in it what is those methods number one is next number two is complete and number third is error, error. so that means uh, another thing is uh, how subject looks like is subject has uh, subject has list of subscribers right so any subject how many subscribers are there it has an inner list of them and it has these methods that you can operate on those subscribers so for example if I want to for example if I want to show error in everywhere let's say in, in, there are three components and I want to show errors in all of three okay so what I do here is I create a first uh, constant, let's say called as error, called as error, and which is basically new subject, right? And what we can do is we can say error. So let's call it differently. Let's call it a data service or something like that. If this is a data service or data. And then you want to say that, okay, while fetching data, I got some error and I want to push it to all of my components. So what do you do? You say data dot error. So all of the subscribers who are subscribed to this data service or basically data, right? Whoever is subscribed to this data, all of these two subscribers, they will receive, they will receive the callback to their error functions. So you know, right, when you subscribe, you can pass next and you can pass complete callback and you can pass error callback. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, this is the way that you say I am errored out. So all of your subscribers, so they all receive the error callback. So you, your callback will be called errors. So this is the easy way to broadcast the error to all of your subscribers, which is good. In sense that you can manage the state now you're saying your application is in error state let's say if there is just one subject in your application and you want to say that whenever error comes i want to just put the error everywhere then this is very good then all of your components they just subscribe to this subject and what happens whenever error comes you just say subject dot error okay so that is the use of error in subject what is the use of next So next is a method to push the data to all of your subscribers. So that is the use of next. For example, if this is a data service and he receives the data, let's say uh, person from the database, went to the server, you receive the data and you you do did you receive the person data. Now you want to sh uh, show that person information in three different places. In all of your application, you want to uh, update all of them. So in that case, you want to share this data to everyone. And also they have, they have subscribed to that data. So let's say these two people, they have already subscribed. For example, if this is coming uh, uh, a person, then this is a review page, a review component, and this is a add, uh, person list component. And they want to just get this person object. So in that case, you should use that data dot next and then push the person collection that is coming from the server like this so this is a new way of thinking uh, uh, reactively basically we used to do different way right we used to have uh, some service and we used to call um, the service method to get the data and once you get the data then you do some binding or something that is we used to do but this is the way to think of reactively so we are thinking reactively means we are saying we will have a subject we will push the data just there 
and then let everyone subscribe. So that way whenever we'll make a server call to receive the person object, list of person, at that time we don't need to do anything, we just need to push. And then we don't care who are subscribers, what, they, uh, what details they are using it, right? So that is the use of next in subject. And the complete is regular complete. Complete means you want to just uh, complete the stream. Okay, and once subject is complete or errored out, it is no more in use. You cannot reuse them. That's the disadvantage of, com of subject. So you cannot reuse them. You have to just recreate the subject or something like that, right? So whenever it is completed or it is errored out, it is no use. But the this basic thing is, you can just have a list of subscribers. You can uh, post the data to them. And you can dispose all of them, all of this facility you can do. That is the subject thing, right? The basic subject part of it. Okay. Do you have any question? No. no. You wanted to say something? Yeah, like you said warm observables. Yeah. Right? Then what's the difference between warm and hot? Yeah, so let's discuss that. Right? So before this, these three methods are clear, right? So this is good. So three methods uh, you should under, uh, remember also. What are the three methods in subject? So this is good. So next is what is difference between the warm and hot that Nikta is asking, right? So what is warm difference of hot? So this concept of warm, uh, Bain Lash, uh, basically he just said in his one of articles, I was ready, right? So what he's saying is, you know that uh, observable is a glue between data producer and the observer. That, that, that's the important thing you should understand. So if this is an observable, so this observable is a glue between two things. One is data producer and another is uh, observer. Observer and data producer. Okay, so observer is a glue who joins between both of them, who connects them, right? So. So in hot observable what happens, in hot observable, if there is no subscriber at all, if there is nothing, uh, nobody has subscribed to this observable, regardless this data is producing the data. So that means in the stream you have data coming already. So let's say, let's say if this is an interval, this data producer is interval, that means in this observable stream, you already started getting data 0, 1, 2, and so on. And let's say after third second, there is one subscriber joined. So he will receive 3. Okay, even though he is a first subscriber, okay, even though there is a first subscriber who joined this observable, who subscribed this observable, he will receive the data 3. If it is a pure hot function, a hot observable. Pure hot observable, good example is like I gave if you are tuning to the radio, regardless people are listening or not listening, radio station will start from 9 a.m. and it will continue till 10. And if you join after 9, 10 or 9, 15 uh, a.m., at that time what will happen? You will receive whatever is current themes, right? You will not receive whatever they said already. So this is called as hot observable. Means it doesn't depend on the subscribers. Right? Like sun. Sun doesn't depend like whether you are out of your room then I will uh, shine the sun. No. Sun will just shine. Sun will raise, rise and it will start shining. Right? You have to be uh, on time. So this is the hot observable. Hot observable means regardless your observables are there or not there, they are subscribed or not subscribed, data start producing, stream is getting data. So now if you subscribe, you will get 3. And the good example technical is keyboard clicks. So keyboard clicks, regardless your uh, your operating system is listening or not listening, when you click, it just emits the data. Right? For example, you have a website and you are listening to the keyboard click event. Right? If you are not listening, whether uh, if you are not listening to the click event, was it coming in the uh, in the stream or not in the DOM stream or not? It is already coming because you people you are clicking. DOM uh, has those events already and you already not received many clicks but whenever you subscribe to that click event then you start getting the clicks and which are the latest clicks it's not the old clicks right 
similarly the stock exchange market stock market whenever you you start receiving the new tickers those are new the current tickers they are not like you they will not wait oh, hey if if 20 people are watching then only we start ticking they will not say if somebody start watching then only i will tick it's not like that they will start ticking right like refrigerator uh, heat thing regardless you are listening or not listening refrigerator if you have a iot device it starts getting the data okay when you disconnect the iot still the refrigerator is heating and it is emitting data it is up to you to subscribe so that is hot so i think it is very difficult to to model it in in rxgx this one but basically this is the ideal ideal hot observable okay so that means in rxgx there are good examples but though one example of hot observable is like i said uh, clicks c l i c k clicks of let's say mouse or keyboard or or so on right keyboard mouse clicks and all of them they are basically hot observable they are pure hot okay so they are pure hot observable and the next example could be web socket connection so if you have a web socket connection from server and client regardless you are listening or not listening server is just pushing the data or client is pushing data server is listening or not listening right so these are the good example of hot observable and they are very like i told last time also these resources are very costly so you should always have a just one uh, one connection or one uh, subject kind of thing you should not put them in a regular cold observable so that many times you subscribe many times it will restart everything so anyway so this is hot any question on this right so next is the warm observable that i was saying but the difference between hot and warm is so now what is happening here is if let's say this is a interval so now we are looking the warm warm part of it right so if this is a interval of uh, our data provision which is just pro producing data every second right so in this stream it is empty let's say it started producing 0 1 2 3 and nobody has subscribed then stream is empty mm. even though it is a hot kind of hot like subject or whichever it is when there is first subscriber walked in and subscribed and let's say it was 4 then this stream will receive data for first so there is one subscription subscription happened and that receives the data for okay and now it is ticking let's say now it is ticking 4 5 6 and 7 and so on right it is it is pushing the data like this 4 5 6 7 like that and there is just so far there is just one subscriber who is subscribed subscriber 1 and then what happens let's say if another subscriber came after 7 second then he will receive the data 8 and which is true in hot observable as well hot observable we already said that whoever will subscribe they will just receive whatever is the latest regardless if there is one subscription or not that is the subtle difference but in the warm observable it never in the stream you never get the data even though data producer is producing you never get the data that means you lost three sub, uh, three ticks not sorry uh, the first subscriber will receive from the beginning yeah sorry i missed that i missed it my mistake so even though this is ticking right the first subscription happens then only the stream will receive the data so that means the first subscriber will start getting from the zero, zero when it subscribe even though let's say data producer is ready or it is ticking or whatever is happening we don't care but basically observable will get from the beginning the data producer will start uh, uh, producing data when there is a first subscription otherwise data producer may not even start i think it will not even start data producer that's the difference in warm observable in warm observable data producer will not get activated basically it is there but it will not activate it will be activated when there is one subscription and then basically you start saying 0 1 2 and you your stream is getting data and and after after 7 if somebody is joining then he will receive 8 and if somebody else is joining then they will receive another mm -hmm. thing right so that's the thing so basically in warm observable data producer not get uh, activated it's just there but it is not yet activated that means it is not pushing the data uh, into the observable stream 
unless there is one subscription and then after that everybody receives the same data so it is multicast after that mm. okay and good example of this is ready made example in rxjs what is warm observable ready made example ready made means you don't need to do anything and it is there so like which observable let me check that so just i explain right subject yes yeah, okay so the ready made example is subject. subject so whenever you need this kind of behavior just use subject, subject. that's it so subject mm -hmm. will do all of this subject will take care of it whenever there is one subscriber subject will start getting data and after that it is multicast multicast means everybody will receive the same data so that is good example of uh, warm object data. okay so any other question any other question so what should we do now next is uh, let's understand uh, how many types of subjects because rsjs has many subjects uh, let's understand them and then we will zoom into just one type of subject because that is what we will use in our project uh, that e-commerce project that we are building and we will see the, what is the best practice in angular as well uh, currently the reader. application uh, where the warm observable is like it's a better to use or a hot one the the warm one right warm one. yeah because um, for application, for Angular application, what happens, right? So unless there is a component, you don't want to receive data, right? So it's it's up to you, like how you want to build it. So if the question is, should I use warm observable or hot observable, then I am writing Angular project. So what happens in Angular project is you want your data to come when your components are in picture. So so you have that that thing in your mind saying that there is one subscriber, then only I want the data to come. So basically, it is warm. And for warm observable, you don't need to do any gymnastic because subject is already there for you. Mm -hmm. So that way it makes sense, right? That is why the RSJS people, they just created this subject because they thought uh, this is the natural uh, way in, in the real world situation we can do. And hot observable is a, is a basically, um, it is matching with the real situation, basically in real world, for example, sun or this kind of stuff, right? But for, for making a project for website or some application, warm is good. Okay, but there are some exceptions like WebSocket and all those things are exceptions where you want to create a um, you you will get a hot observable thing, right? Okay, so now let's go to uh, different types of subject and we'll understand what what are the behaviors of them. Okay.